Hello, my name is Thomas and today I'm very, very excited. I'm here with Philipp Bösel. Philipp Bösel is a photographer based in Cologne and you've maybe seen his project already in one of my latest videos um, about the Berlin Wall in 1984. So, hi Philip. Hi Thomas. So nice to be here. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Um, I'm a photographer and a graphic designer at the WDR in Cologne. Mm -hmm. I did a project 1984 about the Berlin Wall with Bokat Maus. Mm -hmm. Bokat Maus was a neighbor and um, I told him about the idea taking photographs of the entire Berlin Wall between East and West Germany. I'm born in 1961 and my generation live with the border between East and West, the NATO and the Warsaw Wasch Pact. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, the borderline was exactly between the two German parts, the West and the East. Yeah. And of course, I can I cannot take photographs of the whole border of Germany. So I decided to take the part between East and West Berlin. Yeah. Exactly this part who separate this uh, capital, mm -hmm. um, which was not the capital of West Germany. It was the capital of East Germany. And uh, so I told this idea, Bokart, and he said, oh, well, that is a great idea. Let's do it together. He's a little bit older and he can organize very good. Then we decided to, to do this project and my part was more to um, design and do the concept of this uh, project. Mm -hmm. I've designed how the picture is framed. Okay. And I've done the film about this project Mm -hmm. And um, I do all the creative part and Borka did more the organization part. Mm -hmm. He organized the hotel, the film and so on and yeah. how, to, how to get there and which people we have to, to, to meet and uh, which people we have to write letters. He did all this. Mm -hmm. this organizing and so uh, we were a very good team so we decided to do this project 1984 mm -hmm. and um, it has a little bit to do with George Orwell 1984 yeah. but it's more by accident yeah 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 okay um, so but, you were also very young I mean you were born in 61 which is the year when the wall was built. That's exactly. That's kind of a coincidence. And then your uh, your dad was from East Germany and your mom is from the West. That's right. My father is from East and my yeah. mother from West. And, uh, and you were 23 when you did the project, very young. That's right. And also the wall was always in that age that I was. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. It, it was in the, when the wall was present, yeah, it you was, were born, it was already yeah. there. It was in, whole, in the whole of your yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, my generation was yeah. the Berlin Wall. Yeah, yeah. And I uh, visit my par my um, relatives, mm -hmm. my uncle, my nephews, my cousins in East Germany every year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I could see the different parts of Germany. I I can see what, how they live in, in East and I know how I live in West Germany. It's uh, by accident I was on the western part. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. couldn't be born in the east. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this this idea of uh, um, being on the right side was the main idea of doing this project, mm -hmm. uh, which has directly something to do with my life. Yes, um, and also in the east, no one ever could have done it because the east side of the wall you couldn't even go there because it was forbidden to go close and there were soldiers and police and and everyone keeping you 
away from it. If you would have tried to do the same in East Berlin, you maybe would have got into a huge trouble. Yeah, that's that's a real interesting part because you can write something on the wall from mm -hmm. the West, mm -hmm. and the West can't um, clean it, over override it, or clean it because it's. Uh, It's owned by the East. Ah, yeah, and yeah. the East couldn't go over the wall to clean it yeah. because this path was a part of the West. So, so it was a huge canvas for graffiti, actually. And yeah. also what I, I like uh, about the project, you did it in 1984. And when you look uh, on the wall, you see that all the graffiti looks so different to today. It's just more spraying tags or text. That's right, that's right. It's completely not like today. Um, it was the beginning of um, airbrushing mm -hmm. or um, doing graffitis on the wall. There was a lot of parts which has no sign and no written parts and mm -hmm. no graffiti. And this is exactly the first picture we've done. And by accident, <laughs> and I always tell the story, <laughs> the light came in. <laughs> and uh, this is all to the format um, six three by three and uh, three by four three by four yeah. Yeah. and uh, it's done with the roller you uh, you mentioned in your last video mm -hmm. yeah um, sixty six yeah and it's not six six by six but it is six by four and a half centimeter yeah yeah exactly. So, um, but that's also the only picture where you have this light falling in. There was an, also another accident. There was half ex exposed okay. while we took it out of the book. Uh -huh. And this picture is now an NFT. Ah. Um, this one. Now there's another picture. Ah, uh, the other one with a light leak. Okay. And uh, you can see the writings legalized Germany and mm -hmm. it's just half exposed. It's, mm -hmm. it's quite funny. Cool. Well, this book was designed by uh, Helge Schlaghecke mm -hmm. um, from White Press. Mm -hmm. And he decided to present this book like a book. So you can read mm -hmm. the photography. You can read it from in this way and not in this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and it has no numbers. You can no read numbers, the, nothing. That's right. And you, you, you read the story, what is written on the wall. Yeah. And you see here, uh, the trees and, uh, parts of, uh, of the wall. And in the beginning, there were more writings in the middle. You can see there are more graffitis. It means here. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. These start to look more like kind of modern graffiti. And we decided to. But there's even a guy, just by coincidence. Yes, he runs. While we are taking the photographs, he was standing there. And uh -huh. We didn't bother because the the wall was always in focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And everything was happened in front or behind. Uh, We were not interested. You just and, took it yeah. like it was. But now it works well, this shot, because there's yeah. this graffiti <laughs> running right. in that direction. And the guy and I yeah, yeah. kind of like it. it. It was a really, really interesting project. Yeah, well, let's, uh, I have to just say it again. I mean, this is 18 kilometers of the Berlin Wall and in, in entirely covered by photos. There is no other photo project that ever showed the Berlin Wall uh, as complete as this project does. So these, this looks like fisheye, but it's not. It's a curve in the wall. <laughs> When I saw this shot the first time, I thought it would be... Uh, it looks like, wow, why, why did you use a fisheye lens for that one? But of course, yeah, the wall was built with a curve. <laughs> As you can also see in the book. You go here, then the curve starts, curve, curve, and now it's straight again. Super interesting. Yeah. And here are the original handmade prints. Uh, this is the original size. This is the prints you did back in 84. That's, that's right. And, and um, 
We did These were shown in uh, Denmark, Denmark, for example. That's right. And, well, so we, we look, you see, some are too dark, some are. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this one. This looks very nice. This is a cool, uh, kind of high key. But the dark ones are a bit dark, yeah. <laughs> Funny. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd, yeah. The wall. Yeah, of course. Pink Floyd, the wall. So. The 50s. The Pish Mode, yeah, it's super 80s, all this. Ausgang. <laughs> Exit, it says. And then someone made a door and a window in there. And the, yeah, this is wrong. <laughs> Wusel kommt rüber. And this, this is also like, this is very arty. It looks like you can look through it. Someone painted this. Also, of course, the cars, like this Fiat. Jim Morrison, Jim Morrison was here. <laughs> And what's this? This is uh, where tourists can go up and can look over the wall. Oh, seriously? Okay. This is actually uh, for tourists. This is for tourists. Okay. Oh, that's a very arty one, this animal there. The mm. huge cockroach rat. That looks much more modern already, this sort of graffiti. Mm. Yeah, see here in this... Oh. I also love how here the it goes on the ground on mm -hmm. the graffiti. That's also I didn't know they did it back in eighty four already. Cool, but I think this one I have in here, and these huge prints. When did you do these? Um, did you can you also people well, buy these or how does it work? Yes, but I have to um, talk with Bocard. Okay. Always we sell them. Mm -hmm. Yes. But um if you, if someone wants prints we have to discuss. Okay. How much yeah, of course. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I get but it. But yeah, that's what I want to show. These are digital prints of and these are handmade prints. Oh this is the one from eighty four mm -hmm. and this is uh from the scan from the Bundesarchiv in Koblenz. Mm. Yeah. I personally love the analog prints also because they're analog and today mm. it's something special, but yeah, these are so detailed. Cool. And when you did it, it was 84. So you say you made a, a website that was, of course, much later. Yeah. The book, this book you did in 2014? Yeah, this later? was published in uh, 2014. And, and what did you do originally when you, let's say, 84? How did you first publish uh, the project? Okay, um, 1984, I developed every single negative. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> For a vintage print, mm -hmm. I show you later mm -hmm. the vintage prints. Yeah, um, and uh, over thousand one hundred um, pictures. Yeah, and um, over three months, I've developed <laughs> always the same picture of because. Yeah, it felt like uh, you did uh, always uh, the same again, again. And it was <laughs> I have to dry each single pictures in my little small dark room mm -hmm. and uh, it, it was a really very it was really um, hard and uh, and how big were the, these originally so you um, the print of every photo and how, how big did you do the prints like 20 like, by 30 centimeters I can show you it's 24 by 18 I think Is this centimeters centimeters okay um, and it's it was framed on um, five, I think five pictures mm -hmm. without any gap mm -hmm. together, and uh, we present this this entire wall in Denmark in Aarhus, mm -hmm. nineteen eighty five, 
2009 in Belgium mm -hmm. in front of the uh, European Union. Mm -hmm. It was also um, paid by this community mm -hmm. to, to, to do the um, 20 years of, uh, of the Berlin Wall, falling of the Berlin Wall. Yeah, that was 2009, yeah. 2009. Um, in 2014, this book came out. Mm -hmm. In 2019, this was 30 years of the falling mm -hmm. wall. It was in Arl. And in... Arl is uh, Switzerland. Arl, Arl is, yes. in, in France. France, okay. It's a big photo uh, festival. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also in Paris, mm -hmm. it was uh, 2019, and uh, 2021, it was in Basel. Um, so we shown it around Germany, but never, but never in, in Germany. Germany. Wow. <laughs> and, okay. Uh, Maybe that's the problem. Uh, we are not too famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I don't know. Um, in, in the 80s, people wanted to get rid of the Berlin Wall. So it was torn down 89, after 89. And then maybe people wanted to forget about it, especially mm -hmm. in Germany. But now it's such a long time uh, ago. I think this project today is super interesting because if you look at it now, from a new perspective, it's really a, a timepiece. It's like a time capsule. It shows the wall in 84, the completely different Germany. And now we have a whole generation that didn't experience it. But people in Germany are still super influenced mm -hmm. by the history. Even the youngest generation, there's still a gap between East and West in many regards. And um, so this is, I think today, super interesting and super current. And, uh, but it's crazy that it was never shown in Germany, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so in 85, you showed it in Denmark. The whole project, so all these prints that you did mm -hmm. by hand, uh, uh, which was several months of work, they were shown there entirely. Uh, I, show, I, show, um, I show you the, the, uh, the um, newspaper uh, mm -hmm. reports of the, the exhibition in Denmark. Uh, later on, and mm -hmm. you can show, uh, you can look at it. Um, it was what was quite funny because <laughs> we were on the front page. <laughs> uh, the German guys who took the f entire uh, Berlin Wall, and in 1985, the wall was uh, still present. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. Uh, we were a little bit lucky that we took the photographs exactly five years. Before the wall uh, was torn down, torn down, mm -hmm. and therefore we can always uh, celebrate. Yeah, uh, every five years. Yeah, it's so, obviously you believe uh, it's either you did ten years the photo no, project, no, no, no. five years the wall is gone, or oh, right. twenty-five years the That's wall right. is gone, thirty years is the photo project. Yeah, I get that. That's cool. Um, so this, this from eighty-four. This is from 1985, the exhibition in Denmark, on the front so that's page. You. <laughs> that's cool. So this is... <laughs> that's you in 1984 or 85. That's right. And that's the Spoken. exhibit. This is the exhibit and you can see how, they, how we present yeah, 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 the yeah. photographs. It's over 300 meter long oh. in one way. Yeah. So we decided to present them in four lines. Four, four lines. You see, this is. So you read the whole. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so again. Okay, this is again. So it's here, and you start reading first line, and then you go back, read the second line. Yeah. Now it really looks like a wall if you see it like that. Super fascinating exhibit.
Uh, and it also was kind of shown in, in China. Did I get it right? Yes. Uh, it, four prints were shown in China of the uh, international uh, photo exhibit. Yeah. Um, I show you in this catalog. Mm -hmm. It was quite interesting. And we, it was the first time that it was abroad in yeah. uh, yeah. uh, uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. Hey, and there was a book from China. Ah, that's right. We talked Where, to, yeah, here. I've got it here. The Book of China. This is from 2005 from the Bingyao International Photography Festival. Okay. And there's your pictures in it. Yes. And what this picture doesn't have a word. No, no, this is this has nothing to do with ah. this is another picture this is only the picture oh, okay, of okay, our, okay, okay. our project okay i was wondering there was a <laughs> big gap in the wall that no one knew about <laughs> the berlin wall 1984 viewed from the west oh yeah typically german photography and history yeah one thing of this this book is also special because every book has a, a different print. Mm -hmm. This is an original print and um, this book consists 1144 photographs mm -hmm. and there are exactly 1144 prints. So there's 1,144 books and every book has one different that's print right. in it. Yeah, cool. You can see these prints are full framed with this black border mm -hmm. and when you look very closely you can see the <laughs> little um, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's from the Rollei. This is from yeah, the Rollei. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah. Uh, the Hasselblad has a different. Yeah, they have it in here too, like two small cutouts. Cut something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, so that's it, cool. Yeah. So it's not cropped. Nothing. It's, no. the, it shows the whole entire picture. And what I also find super fascinating is it doesn't have. There's no word. No, nothing. Not even a foreword or anything. The only words is this. Uh, so the book is universal language and it comes with a leaflet That's and the leaflet is in uh, English, German, Japanese, I think, Russian, Russian, French and German. Yeah. So it, the leaflet covers every, your, all the most innovation. major languages also. So this is a very international book. You can get it, it works in every language. Yeah. It's fascinating. So this is the leaflet that comes with every book again in the book itself there is no text nothing it's without language so to say and the leaflet uh, is in german english in french japanese japanese in russian yeah so it covers like uh, especially the thing about japan was you told me uh, philip told me that um the japanese love to collect photo books because there is not a lot of space in Japanese apartments for hanging photos on the wall. But they are huge in buying books, photo books. So you can have a complete collection uh, just in your bookshelf. So this leaflet comes with every of the 1,144 books. These books were made 2014 and then you started selling them. They are still available on uh, via White Press. There are some available on White Press. So I put a link in my in my video yeah. down below if you want to have one of these fascinating books. <laughs> and um, we will never reprinting this mm -hmm. book again. Ah, uh, here. Okay, this is also something. This explains the name of the project. So die vermessene Mauer, which. Uh, translates to something like the measured wall, but also vermessen in Germany, it's got two meanings. Uh, it's measured, but it's also presumptuous. It's kind of a wordplay also in the name of the project. So this is uh, coverage from a, a big German 
this is coverage from a big German newspaper, the, the Frankfurt Allgemeine Zeitung, every German knows it. And they gave you a complete page on it, 2008. Yes, what do you... And want? the negatives, 1044, ah. where are they now? <laughs> the originals. Yes, this is a quite interesting story. <laughs> um, after uh, Arte did a, a small film in Metropolis. Arte, uh, Arte, I just have to explain quickly, is okay. a German-French uh, TV channel. That's right. Kind of public TV, a little bit uh, on culture, focused on culture as well. Okay, so they did a feature. They did a small feature and uh, then I got a call from the uh, Bundesarchiv in Koblenz. Uh, it's um, it's an archive to um, collect all relevant uh, information of the German history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, from the West and from the East. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a very interesting um, meeting uh, in, in Koblenz. So yeah, we all uh, analog photographers know the problem, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so... Long time storage. So they want to have this negative and then we say, oh, um, that's okay, but um, we want to get paid for it and we want that the um, uh, Bundesarchiv uh, do the all um, digitizing the negatives. Mm -hmm. That was for them very expensive and for us it was very lucky because <laughs> all these negative scans are uh, so we could do this photo the book, book. the book was made from these scans okay. from these well, scans uh, they are much yeah. better than we scanned also the the uh, we, we digitize also uh -huh. the negatives but not as good as they yeah, did yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah you have to you, you shot this on uh kodak teamix or kodak you know? kodak, kodak. teamix 100 so it's super yeah. fine grained yeah. Uh, uh, super high resolution, so the scanning has to be perfect as well. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. And in that summer 1984, uh, uh, it was a lot of rain, it was ah. not very sunny. <laughs> and but for black and white pictures, it's m much better because you have not too strong shadows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There are some pictures you can see the shadows but mostly there's the clouds yeah yeah yeah. it's very very nice exposed yeah it's it, it kind of fits the topic of this wall mm -hmm. and also that it's kind of cloudy uh, in most places here was a bit more sun i think mm -hmm. you can yeah. see a little blue sky it's hey and how 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 many days did it take you back i mean what uh, you started somewhere in the mm -hmm. north or the south was a tripod? Did you yes, use a tripod? Yes, right. So you two of you, and then you took a picture. There was the wall. Then you went 10 meters to the right, took the next picture. How Did it take days or weeks or how? Over 10 days. 10 days? Uh, over 10 days from, from the morning until the afternoon. Because we, we, we couldn't uh, took photos in the night yeah, because of the light. Yeah. So we started around 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and until four and five so uh it took 10 days but were there also days where you maybe you said it was a bit rainy this summer so were there also days where you couldn't work or you had to work go home easy uh, early or something no we, we actually took photos even if it, it was slightly raining oh, not okay. strongly raining yeah. but it, when it was slightly raining uh, we took photographs anyway mm -hmm. and um it was also very interesting of the reaction of the people. Mm -hmm. The people say, hey, why are you taking photographs of the wall, <laughs> the shitty wall? We don't want this wall anymore. You take photographs. And we say, no, oh, it's okay. <laughs> and yeah, exactly. Then, That's what I'm saying. People back then just thought it's a horrible, stupid thing that just was there all the time. So you didn't even think it was special. There was no reason to take a photo yeah, that's of right. And we also didn't take photographs of the the parts where you can go to the east. Yeah, um, okay. 
we leave them out because of the meaning uh, the wall is is closed you yeah. can't go from east to west yeah, yeah it yeah. is so there's no checkpoint charlie no no checkpoint charlie yeah. no okay. checkpoints anyway mm -hmm. but um, that was also part of our concept we just want the border and not uh, the parts where they they can pass it pass so, it oh yeah but mainly just from the west to the east yeah. not otherwise and hey did uh, did you notice that people from the east like maybe some police or someone was seeing what you're doing that's a that's an <laughs> interesting question we uh, uh, we were um they were standing with with glasses and mm -hmm. uh, uh, always uh, know what we're doing and after when we were in 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 the Bundesarchiv in Koblenz, mm -hmm. they have all the all the material of the um, Stasi. Yeah, Stasi, of course. Um, yeah. And uh, they say, oh, we we maybe find something about how maybe they took photographs of you taking <laughs> photographs of the wall. Yeah, but. Um, they they told us they didn't find any oh, okay. of this information, but we were lucky yeah. if someone have some pictures, how we <laughs> take pictures of the wall. Yeah, of course, that would be, <laughs> that would be very funny, yeah. yeah. Because for them, you were maybe like enemy uh, agents or, yeah, that's right. I don't know, spies or whatever. We, 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 we sent all the negatives by mail mm -hmm. to West Germany, because we were afraid that at the borders mm. they take it. Ah, oh, yes, of uh, course. Because yeah, West Berlin was like mm. an island, and the you political could, island. You right. could either travel by car, but then only on one motorway, or there was a special train. Yeah. But I guess there was a lot of control in the mm. train. Yeah, yeah, sure. We went by car. Crazy in that way. Yeah, I remember the East and, uh, and the West. I was born in 75, so in my childhood it was also a given, the wall and everything. But I was, of course, too young. Yeah, I was more a kid. Mm. When the wall came down, It was I was 14. So it was part of my youth. And then when I was grown up, the excitement was to go to East mm. Germany mm. because then it was open, yeah. Super cool project. Um, Thanks for telling us all this. I'm, I'm Thank you. really excited about this opportunity. And uh, yeah, again, if, if anyone is interested, there are still some books available. And uh, as we said, they're super international. No text. You really read the picture book of the wall. Um, of course, most of the graffiti is in German. I have to admit that. But there are also English ones. That's right. And also the text is super interesting, what people wrote there back then. And more political and it's just it's just text all of the time it's a it's exa exactly a document of that time yeah um, and you also see sort of here is the not that many people live here so there's much less graffiti and here maybe we're more in the center of the city because here it's all full yeah super super exciting 1980s document Okay, so thanks for watching this episode. I hope you found this interesting and useful. It's a different format for my channel, but uh, yeah, I found it super exciting. If you've got any questions or comments about this project or something you would like to ask uh, Philip, write a comment in the comment section below. Also, I put a link down there where you can uh, still get these books. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I hope you have a great time and uh, live long and prosper. And I see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.